Hey Sagittarius. So today I'm going to be your August 4th messages. Um, I get a lot of comments like on my monthly videos saying that they want messages more often. So I'm just going to do these like every other day to give you guys some more messages. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Sagittarius? Wow, so we have the Ace of Swords. I really like this as the first card in the reading because I feel like you're going to be successful with something. So whether this is, um, this is interesting. I feel like for a lot of you Sagittarius men or even women, you guys could be pursuing somebody. We have the Lovers card here at the bottom of the deck. So I don't feel if you're pursuing someone or are hoping to be with someone or date someone, I feel like you're going to be successful with that. We do have the Hierophant here. So I also see you being very... Um, dedicated and putting a lot of your time into something it definitely could be something to do with money your own business um, work school something like that but whatever it is it's going to have a very positive outcome for you I also feel that there could be an air sign Gemini Libra or Aquarius that is very significant to you at this time or there could be an air sign coming into your life you have the ace of wands so passionate new beginning definitely could be a project or a business that you are starting. Um, I also feel that this could be um, somebody coming in that wants to commit to you. The higher font does represent commitment and does represent marriage. So some of you guys could be discussing or even be getting married soon. First, what is the energy surrounding Sagittarius? Okay. So you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. I see you guys getting in a relationship. I do feel like a lot of you guys could have started out single. The Nine of Pentacles does represent a single person. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys could be getting in a relationship and it's going to be successful. It's going to be long term. I do feel also that this person come out of nowhere. It could be an Aries or a Cancer coming out of nowhere wanting to commit to you. Okay. So we have Judgment with the Death card. Yeah. Huge changes coming into your life. I do feel like there could be um, a Scorpio or a... Libra coming into your life as well. But I feel like by the end of August, a lot of you singles are going to be in a relationship or are going to be talking to someone, um, start dating someone that you will be in a committed relationship in. Okay. Here's why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I do feel like a lot of you guys, if you have options in love, uh, one of them is going to work out for you. Like, I do see you taking somebody very seriously this month. By the higher five. even if you guys like don't necessarily plan to and the reason i say that is because the knight of wands keeps showing itself to me so i feel like a lot of you guys are single and happy like really are not looking for a relationship or anything like that but i do feel like there's somebody that you're going to meet this month that will surprise you and that you do want to be in a relationship with or vice versa maybe this other person's just like fine with being single but you're like different they want to be with you okay. where by the higher five. Okay. King of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely could be a Taurus coming in, but I do feel like this is just you being very dedicated to your work. Um, this month, I do see something really turning out well for you. I do feel like you guys, you could be celebrating something. So celebrating a success, celebrating getting accepted um, into like a class or college or getting a job. I have the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay. Yeah, Six of Wands. This is success. I also feel that there could be people around you that notice your success as well. I'm also getting getting a promotion or winning a, an award. So maybe you'd be winning something. Okay, yeah, clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So I do feel like a lot of you guys could be on the fence of like, okay... When this new present comes into your life, I do feel like you're going to have a decision to make. We have the judgment card here, so a decision. Um, if you want to pursue this person seriously, I see you guys, uh, a lot of you guys making the decision to go ahead and pursue whoever this person is. I do feel like wh whoever is coming in, it, it's going to like end up in a long, serious relationship. could even lead to marriage. Here the Two of Cups. Or a lot of you guys, if you are in, an, in a relationship, I do feel like it will lead to that. But I do feel like this is either a new person coming in or a very new connection that you're in. So we have the Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. So I see someone being your perfect match here. I also feel there's a strong, heavy earth energy surrounding you. I do feel like there's a lot of stability surrounding you as well. So financial stability in the month of August. Purified Judgment. 
Why is the judgment coming? Okay. okay. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. For some reason, I'm getting that a lot of you guys are choosing to um, put a lot of your energy into growing something. We have the Seven of Pentacles here as well. And I'm going from the Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're growing, whatever you're working on will grow. And what you're investing your time very wisely this month, or the advice is to invest your time extremely wisely this month. I do feel also you guys could be making money from a side business. Like, I feel like um, if you are doing something on the side, it's going to turn into something big. Clarify the death card. This is change happening into your, in your life this month. We have the Eight of Wands. So things are going to start picking up for you. So say you started something, whatever, you're not really seeing much going on. This month, you're going to start seeing things move forward for you. Relationships move forward. Um, job opportunities moving forward. Things like that. Also, business. You could be um, gaining a lot of clients or making a lot of sales or whatever this month. Universe, what is the advice for Sagittarius? Okay, this card wanted to come out. Oh, so as advice, we have the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So this is like, I don't know why they're telling me, but this as advice is allow, like allow yourself to... This is, this is weird how they're saying it, but it's almost like allow yourself to fall in love with this person. So if a lot of you guys are still on the fence, like, oh, I'm not sure if I should be with this person or maybe I should just stay single. The advice is to allow yourself because this is a soulmate coming into your life, this new person. So Sagittarius, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Um, if you guys would like a personal reading, there's information down below on how you could get one. Also, if you want to see me doing more things than just tarot, you can follow my vlog channel if you want, which the link is down below. So um, have a good rest of the day.